Hi, niaje ukaje ukaje mimi naitwa Grace Tera wewe unaitwa Unaitwa Sonia Beko comments. Hi, uh probably today you're watching this video because you want to know how to get to Suswa, the tips, the tricks, what's there, the booking, the activities. Is it Zote? I'm here. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. Yeah, get it to it. Hi. Uh, so today that I'm basically going to be giving you all the tips and tricks. If you want to watch how the video went down, I'll tag it right here. You can watch it before or after. Do it! Just do it! But yeah, before I get into this, see, let's roll the intro. Woke up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job, what the hell should I do today? Let's talk about the booking. So, how do you book it? How does it happen? Blah, 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 blah. All those questions, I got you. I'm the guy. See, I've told you I'm the guy. I'm the guy. Relax, I'll tell you. So there are three ways you can book this train. The first option is that you can opt to go to Nairobi Terminus in Siokimau and book it personally. I'd advise you go two days in advance or a day in advance so that your trip is not wasted because sometimes these trains get filled up and sometimes they're pretty much empty. So to be on the safe side, do it two days in advance. The second option is you can dial this number. I'm not sure about it because somebody mentioned it on TikTok, but for me, I used the third method. The third method I used was using this app. Um, I've had the iPhone people saying they can't get this app, so I'd recommend using an ad an ad oh, an Android phone uh, to book it. But yeah, I used this method and it was so seamless. Everything, everything. So they're supposed to send you a code. The code will be in your M-Pesa message. So don't use panic, use panic. So um the first message like the first code of the message no i mean like the inside the mpesa message there's like a code i'll put a screenshot so that you can understand but there's like a code you get so i'd advise when booking book both ways so book from nairobi to susu and from susu to nairobi so that it's much more easier and at least you're assured that there's a train you'll get you'll board the train coming back okay what time does the train leave? So I'm sure you're probably curious. The train leaves at 8.50. I'd advise for you to be at the station by at least 8 or 8.10 because from uh, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, they are mostly dealing with the people going to Mombasa, the Yarni Mombasa, ah, North Coast, <laughs> all those things. So the Mombasa peeps are the ones who are going to be the first priority. But from 8, it's going to be you guys because you'll notice that you're going to be so few that there's no need of Arakisha in you. You get. Um, so yeah, the train leaves at 8.50 a.m. and then it arrives at Suswa at 11.10 a.m. Throughout that period, it makes three stops. It makes a stop at Ngong, it makes a stop at Runga, it makes a stop at Maimahi. So you can also board the train from there. What time that it, does it leave Suswa to Nairobi? It leaves at 3.50 p.m. And you'll probably arrive at 6.10 p.m. or 5.10. Either math. <laughs> How much is the train? So the train is basically uh, 200 shillings if you're booking from Nairobi Terminus to Suswa but if you're booking from I think it's Rongai and Gong and Maimahio to Suswa I think you'll pay a hundred shillings so yeah if you live around those eight those places you can um book there because it's much more cheaper yeah and also 200 going 200 coming back so I'd say it's 400 Another question you might have is how do you get to Siokimau, Nairobi Terminus? The cheapest way I'd recommend is taking a train from either CBD or from Makadara or wherever you live. If there's a train station taking you to Nairobi Terminus, I'd recommend that. It's probably 100 shillings. It used to be 50. Now it's 100 shillings. So yeah, I'd recommend that instead of boarding a matatu, then having to walk inside the station, I'd recommend the train because it just... It leaves you there, there where you need to board the train. And so the question that everyone is asking is, are there fun activities in Suswa? Is it really worth the hype? Is it worth every single TikTok everyone is making going to Suswa? Will I enjoy it? Will I really, really have a good time and I can spend my time sleeping? It's a yes and no. So basically, if you're a pessimistic person, trust me, you're going to find the pest in the mystic. You're going to be like, this train is not worth the hype. But if you are 
uh, optimistic person, you'll probably find the fun in it. So why I'm saying yes and no is no. If you haven't planned anything, you're going to have the worst time ever. You're going to wish the train comes earlier. Uta take a took home. Uta like I really need to book this train. Needs to take me home. I should have slept. Uh, but yes, if you are into adventure, you need to push yourself when you're going to Suswa because it's quite scarce. So you have to be the fun for yourself. There's one hotel nearby. 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 5 minutes drive. You can decide to walk if you love walking. It's quite dusty though, but uh, it's a 10 minutes drive. They'll charge you 100 shillings. They used to charge 15 now they charge 100. And if you look like money, they're going to charge you a lot of it. So uh, try it again. 100 shillings should be your bottom line. So in that hotel, um, there's basically food. I didn't see any activities. I saw most people post that they eat chips and meat and cabbage that wasn't my vibe hence why i did a picnic so yeah if you really aren't into that you can opt for a picnic so for the picnic there's no land like you can do it at he it's for picnics so what i did i let the driver drive us until um that hotel and then i was just like as we want to have a picnic and then he was like, you see that land? Because it's across the road. He was like, that land nobody asked. You can just go and do your thing. So as we walked, and true to it, there were so many people sleeping under the trees. So nobody even asked us. Like, even cattles were grazing and stuff like that. Like, it's actually across the road. But now, at quite, like, probably 50 meters across the road. And I would say it's actually very dusty. So if you're allergic to dust, uh, you'll be doing a lot of... <laughs> because, you know, those two winds that uh, look like tornadoes those small small there are so many of them and sometimes they'll even pass through your face so prepare for a lot of sneezing but it's actually a vibe F would i recommend you doing a picnic for four hours maybe no so probably look for many activities to do but if it's romantic you can do a picnic for four hours and then there's also another hotel it's in, it's called Zambezi. It's 30 minutes away. You'll pay for transport 2,000 if you're one person. But if you're three, if you're seven, you're going to pay 300 bob per person. So that car will take you to and from, because it's a seven seater, to and from the hotel. Hotel Zambezi. They should pay me. I'm marketing them. In that hotel Zambezi, you'll basically have swimming, good food. I've seen so many people post about it, and it actually looks really nice. I'd love to go back and experience it. But if you actually don't look for the fun and you want the fun to come to you, I'd recommend going to Zambezi. Also, another thing you can do is hike Mount Suswa, but unless you're a fast hiker, like unless you're running or something, because Mount Suswa is quite a distance, and for you to be taken, let's say, to the foot of the mountain, it's a thousand shillings by picky picky per person. So, uh, it's a thousand shillings to get there. I don't know if they do it coming back, but from what I know, I felt like a thousand was so expensive, hence I opted for a picnic so i'm sure you're probably wondering why you should get out of bed and go to suswa because everyone is freaking posting it like why 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 so the reason i'd recommend this trade is because of four things the first thing is that it goes through um, three tunnels the ngong tunnel i didn't read the other ones but three tunnels and it's so i don't know it's maybe the inner childhood thing of being excited but just going through those tunnels it's just so fun and hearing the sounds of the train it's just so you know you, you just feel um like a kid and then the second thing i'd say is it passes through nairobi national park so you will probably not see a lion but you'll see zebras you'll see gazelles if they're if that if that's what i saw you'll see antelopes you'll see like if you look hard enough you'll see a lot of animals maybe you just might be lucky and see a lion you know you know it passes through so for all i feel like for 10 minutes you'll be able to spot different types of animals and number three the train is pretty much empty you can sit wherever you want you can do a whole freaking photo shoot i did a whole freaking photo shoot you can do that you can just um look at land read a novel in the train like you can do so 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 much i'd also say that the, you'll probably make stops in order for you to use the toilets because when i boarded the toilets the toilets weren't working i think it has a restaurant i'm not so sure i didn't ask but you can come in with any food like if you want any type of food you can come with it but don't come with alcohol they don't allow that or any type of drug they actually don't allow that but in the waiting bay you can actually purchase alcohol it's mostly beers 
I'm not sure if they, but from what I saw, they don't sell hard liquor. Yeah, and the fourth reason you should probably book this trip is because you've never gone to archives, probably. You've never stepped in archives. You've decided, I want to go to other countries, but I don't explore my country. Why? Why, 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 why? I'd love for you to go and see how Suswa is. Like, visit another county. Be like, oh, yeah, I went to Narok County, Suswa. Unless you can brag about going to Suswa because not so many people get to go there. And this train has been there since 2017. And it's 2022, so I'd probably recommend you go for it. So, yeah, I hope I answered all your questions. I tried my best to literally take all the questions and answer them all at once. But yeah, I, thought you, I hope you loved this video. Ha! Ah! I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the growth. Oh my god. I can't believe I've gotten 50 freaking new followers. Now I'm going to Ah! Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Yeah. Lil Bum. Lil Bum. Lil Bum.